Welcome to On Air with Cash. Our guest today has been studying martial arts since she was four and competing since she was six. By the age of 11, she had become a second degree black belt in Taekwondo and a first degree black belt in extreme martial arts. She appeared in the feature film Between Worlds starring Nicolas Cage as young Julie, where she performed her own stunts. She just finished filming the indie holiday comedy Christmas vs. the Walters with Shawnee Smith, Dean Winters, Chris Elliott, and Bruce Dern. She plays Zoe in the feature film Bad Therapy with Alicia Silverstone, Rob Corddry, and Eric Griffin, available to stream now on Hulu, Amazon, and Apple TV. Please welcome Paris Bravo. Woo! I just got to say really quick, you have a great radio voice. Thank you. <laughs> it's perfect. Oh my God, you're too kind. I've been working on it for a bit. I was working in voiceover for years, so I think it, it's uh, something's rubbed off on me. Thank you. Great job. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. I know. How are you? It's been a minute. I used to see uh, you and your mom at premieres and events and then everything was on hold the last year. Mm -hmm. I know. It's been a while. I, I really miss being able to see everyone. It's great to see you. It's so good to see you. And actually, one of the last times I saw you was at the Oscars. We were mm -hmm. at that really nice party for Warner Brothers in Beverly Hills. And we were with my colleague, Kathy Cola, mm -hmm. and we were talking about wire fighters. Yes, I do that. <laughs> I had been following them for a bit. I had a colleague of mine. She races motorcycles. She does a lot of stunt work in movies. And mm -hmm. she was posting about wire fighters. And Kathy and I were finishing a project. We're like, we got to take a class available. We lucked out. It was right before the pandemic started. They kept featuring you. And I honestly, I was a bit intimidated seeing what you were doing. I'm like, there's no way I can do this. I was afraid of about it. Um... <laughs> yes, of course you can. Being able to see Chris Young. He's the one who kind of yes. ran everything. Oh, I know Chris. He's all, oh yeah. yeah. He, he is incredible. And um, I got the opportunity to be able to work with him. Being able to work in, in that environment was really, really, really fun. And uh, uh, being able to flip on wires and fly around, like, why not? Uh, it was great being able to pretend to be a superhero for a while and being able to take classes to be a superhero. That's, that's insane. That's really cool. It was insane. And no, we were a little intimidated watching you. You went about it like it was nothing. I get there. I was. I couldn't I even do a cartwheel at the. <laughs> I couldn't even do a cartwheel at the beginning of it, and I tried to front flip a few times, and my leg. There's a lot of just. I look ridiculous. I'm like my legs getting caught. And I'm trying to go, and they said, "Cash, do a backflip." And I'm like, "You're oh. nuts. No way." And then I did the backflip, and finally, I was able to complete yeah. the stunt. Yes. Woo. I miss being able to fly and uh, learning new choreo, and uh, definitely brought me out of my comfort zone. But in the same, I was also doing the choreography that you would do on ground, but now in the air. Speaking of above ground, you spent some time underwater in a Nicolas Cage movie, Between Two Worlds. Now, mm -hmm. I saw the scene, it was terrifying to watch, and I can only imagine what it was like to film. Mm -hmm. And just the and you did, you did that stunt all on your own. It was under 16 feet of water. Yes, when we got the audition, it was, we need a good swimmer. So I was like, I can do that. The next time we got there and I learned how to use an apparatus, the scuba gear, then five minutes and weighted down. And I had a wetsuit under um, all my winter clothes and definitely a different experience when <laughs> you get dragged underwater <laughs> and have to basically you get superpowers. So if you guys ever want to watch it on Netflix, it's called Between Worlds with Nicolas Cage. I was just so excited to be a part of that and the experience, the nerves and all everything going on around you and having to be put in this tank. It, it wasn't, wasn't a lake or a pool. It was, it was a tank at the studio. Yes, it was under, and it was 16 feet. And it was huge. And they would bring me down. I would go under with the oxygen. Okay. had to wait there they would tap my leg and then i had to let go hold it for a second there was a, a speaker that said action and i could barely hear anything so i felt like i was doing something wrong at all times i had to pre pretend like i was dead wait for the bubbles to go away because you, you you're breathing and then you can't breathe and you hold the wait for the bubbles to go away and then uh you i had to pretend like i gained superpowers. So I had to pretend like I was alive again after falling into a frozen lake. Um, and I had to swim up with weights and it was so hard. I thought I, there was one time I did almost, there was a close call, but everything was good. I'm here today and I'm very lucky. I was able to 
climb all the way up. So in between scenes, I didn't have to like blow back into the oxygen mask um, and then reshoot it again. So I was able to swim back through each take. Amazing. I mean, I would have been just thrilled. Oh, I'm doing a Nicolas Cage movie. You went to the extreme. I think I'm more scared of it now than I was then. Oh, I, I bet. Yeah, you're totally, well, because you were in the zone and you were just had to get it done. And now you look, you're like, whoa, I actually did that? Yeah, I, I don't think I would want to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> you already did it. It's in the movie. You proved yourself. So Exactly. You that, is right. yeah. that is right. That is You filmed Christmas vs. the Walters. I actually got very, very lucky. I heard that I booked it in, uh, we flew out on the day before Thanksgiving into Thanksgiving because it was a red eye. It was very safe. I was able to get my COVID test. The next day we started filming and uh, other than in, 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 the, in the scenes when we were not wearing our masks, of course, uh, everyone was six feet away. And uh, it was just an, a lovely, lovely, lovely experience. I know that it would have been different outside of the pandemic, but this is what I got. And I'm very, very lucky and very grateful for it. It's going to be a great final product. I, I'm super excited for it. Definitely. No, I mean, what a cast. And will it be available, do you think, the holiday season? Uh, hopefully, yes. I, I, it'll come out soon. I, I don't know any exact dates, but it, it'll definitely be in the holiday season because it's Christmas versus the Walters and I'm a Walter. You're a Walter. <laughs> I am. <laughs> it was incredible to be able to work with Shawnee and Dean. They really took me under their wing and said, here, this is the way. If you've seen Mandalorian, you know that reference. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. Um, Mandalorian. The Mandalorian. And then you also have another movie that I just saw on Hulu. It's available on Amazon Prime and Apple TV. It's Bad Therapy with Alicia Silverstone yeah. and Rob Corddry. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, that one was a fun one. That was definitely, a, I went through the whole process for that. That was outside of the pandemic. And sadly, when it came out, it was during the pandemic. So there was no like premiere or being able to see each other again after not being able to see each other after. Um, filming, being around Alicia Silverstone and Rob Corddry, like, I don't, who, who said I could deserve that, but. <laughs> you deserve it. Oh, come on. Oh, thank you. Your breath underwater for 16 feet in a Nicolas Cage movie. I think you're qualified. You can, you can do anything. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> I mean, what a cast though. I mean, no, cause I've met Rob a couple times and mm -hmm. I've never met Alicia, but when I was growing up, I mean, classic clueless for one I know yeah. it's just, that was one of our favorites. We always right. I mean, it's iconic. We watched it on TV constantly. And I mean, it was just, <laughs> I mean, she's such an icon. I mean, it must've been an she honor is. to just work she with is. her. Yeah. She really is. And I went into the makeup trailer. I didn't actually know who she was. And I, the lady, the makeup lady, she goes, Paris. Paris, do you know who that is? And I go, my friend's mom in the movie. <laughs> I didn't really know. And then they, I just heard her uh, in, a, in a performance. She was uh, filming a scene. And I was like, dang, she's good. Because she was screaming. I was like, whoa. Uh, <laughs> and it was just great to be in, in someone's presence like that. And, and she definitely knows what's up in this industry. And same with Rob, he's, uh, all of them are just so sweet. It was an honor to be a part of um, that mm -hmm. film. That was uh, one of the bigger things I, I had done in, in, towards the beginning. Um, Absolutely, and, and, and I mean, even your, your character Zoe, you play the best friend of Alicia's daughter. And yes. I mean, it's a very funny movie too. And it's, just, and it's it, honestly, it's like, right. It was all those locations were where I grew up. I mean, I was born in Santa Monica, even the vintage store that, uh, you and Louise go into, I mean, I can't tell you, how, I mean, I went through a total like 60s and 70s phase when I was a teenager. Yes. So I spent a lot of time in that vintage store and I used to wear right? bell bottoms and have Jim Morrison hair and everything. It's so, so trendy. It's so popular. I feel like, yeah, those are like friends I went to high school with. So, and they're just even the parents, yeah. there's so many, it, it just seemed like very um, relevant and real. And it's actually a true story. It's based on a true story. And a really? psychotic therapist decided to ruin a, a marriage. But in the end, she didn't get to that. Oh, well, watch it on Hulu. You can find out. Got to watch it. Maybe she does. Maybe she doesn't. We're just uh, throwing you off psychologically. Yep, that is it. That's what, that's what the bad therapist does. <laughs> Being able to work with Anna. Um, she's, she's so successful now. I'm so proud of her. Um, and just being able to have that connection and 
if you do watch it, don't do drugs. Have you two been smoking marijuana? <laughs> it looks like you two have been smoking marijuana. <laughs> uh, <yeah>. uh, <laughs> all right, we are taking Louise home right now. To the audience out there, don't do drugs. Never. It was a fake, it was vegetable oil. Reading over the scenes and all of that and then um, going into filming and do, being able to uh, work with the director and all, all, all of it. It was great. When you said you didn't know who Alicia was, I had a similar experience. The studio that I was working at, there was an actor who came in recording a commercial and he had his, uh, just like his assistant. Mm -hmm. And then the director says, you know, Cash, we really, he, he could really use like a real actor. Would you mind just coming in? I'm like, oh yeah, sure. No problem. And so, and he was super nice. So we're talking and he looked familiar, but we, you know, I, we had to play brothers. And so, you know, we were. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, no, you have that little inkling that there's someone, but go ahead. And so we're reading, we're playing brothers and we're getting along and uh, he's like, oh yeah, so yeah, what have you been up to? I'm like, oh, you know, I just did this indie movie uh, it's coming out next week. What about you? He's like, yeah, I got this movie that's coming out next week. But like, oh, cool, good. And then I leave <laughs> and I realize it was, it was Ty Sheridan and the movie he was talking about was Ready Player One. <laughs> <laughs> it happens we all go through it it, it really does and then the, the next time i saw alicia i knew who she was and i was like my dad had a crush on you that type of thing <laughs> oh, no, I'm, I'm actually I'm, I'm totally gonna date myself but i'm old enough to have seen that movie when it was in the theater when i was a little kid and i uh, just knew i knew the impact i know our mutual friend tyrone tan had he was friends with Brittany Murphy, who played uh, Ty. Yes. I mean, I love Tyrone so much, and he's so great. And whenever he yes. posts like these old uh, clips with like with like Leo and Brittany, he's, I just feel like it's like all these movies I watched growing up. Like Tyrone was like there. He's like Forrest Gump. He's just everywhere in the '90s. Whenever I was, everything I liked growing up. Yep, he was just all. He was w open to everything. He was yes. all over. And oh. everyone loves him. He's had like the best relationships at the studio that he has in Burbank. That was the last time, uh, that was like the last thing that I did publicly. And before the pandemic, we, yeah. me and my friend Alexander were promoting something. We went and then the next day it was like, everything's closed up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know. I, I think I went to Disney three days before it shut down. And I was like, I should have gone again. I, I miss it. <laughs> I miss all the amusement parks. Hopefully we'll be able to go soon. You've already accomplished so much at such a young age. What advice would you give to your peers or other young talent coming up in the industry? I would definitely say it's never give up. It definitely takes determination. Um, I've been doing this for years and I definitely don't have as much experience as some of my other friends. I am so thankful for what I have been uh, provided with. Paris, thank you so much for your time today. Please, everyone listening, watch her in Bad Therapy. She has Christmas vs. the Walters coming out later this year. You can watch her Between Worlds with Nicolas Cage, and she performs a pretty incredible stunt. Paris, I can't thank you enough for your time, and I'm really looking forward to getting the crew together, doing some wire fighting, and we're going full force. We yes, got to do a movie are. together. Yes, we are. Woo -hoo! Yeah, woo! Thank you so much for hanging with me and Paris Bravo today. You are on air with cash. Woo woo.